Hey guys, I wanted to hop on here and walk through the website with y'all um, and make sure that everybody is on the same page because we have to start putting grades in for progress reports on Friday. We've already started putting some grades in. Guys, we have way too many zeros and this is bringing some people's averages down to like 33s and stuff. So we have to make sure that you are getting your assignments in and I know some people are a little confused. So I'm going to um, share my screen here. I'm going to start with our fourth grade web page. Okay, so when you log in to um, the website, here's the web page. Guys, the most important part of this web page is to just go up here and put your mouse over lesson plans. And you'll see Monday is reading, Tuesday is math. Wednesday is writing, Thursday is science, Friday is so, social studies. Guys, um, this is one subject a day, one. This is not too much work. My kids are doing three, they're doing reading, writing, and math every day. Um, so here, we're gonna click on Monday reading. This lesson right here is for this week. So this is what y'all should have started on this Monday. Um, you are going to go back to um, Tumble Books. You're going to click here, and it's going to take you to Tumble Books. And you're going to log in with the login I gave you, which is the Tumble 735, and then the password, which is Books. So you're going to log in. You're going to find um, the tale of Despero. So you can do that by going right here to Tumble Search and searching by title the tale. Uh, oh, look, and it pops up for you. You just click on it, go. It'll bring you here, and you hit Read Online. So for this week, I wanted you to just read chapters 7 through 10. That's not a lot. The chapters are short. After you've read it, you click here to answer the questions. The questions are two simple questions, not difficult at all. So that's this week's reading. If you didn't do last week's reading or the week before, all you have to do is use your mouse to scroll down. Look right here, reading for last week. Um, same thing, you're going to go to the tumble books by clicking here. Clicking there is going to take you to the tumble books, just like we did before. You're going to sign in, find the book. The book we are reading is The Tale of Despero. You're going to read chapters one through six. They are short. They'll take you 20 minutes to read. You're going to click here and answer these questions. Simple, simple questions. We've been doing this all year in reading. And then after you answer the questions on any of these Google Docs, you submit it. Guys, we're getting people saying that they are submitting this work and they're not. Um, if you are on your HISD account and you answer these questions and hit submit, we are going to get your work. Um, there's, there's just no way around it. If you're logged into your account, if you put your name up here, we're going to get your work. If you don't get the Google Docs to work, I don't care if you write the questions down on a piece of paper and send them to me. Um, take a picture and send it. Every one of you guys has a cell phone and you can take a picture and send it. Um, if, we're, if we're getting people saying that my parents aren't letting me use their phone to take pictures, um, or I don't know how, guys, yes, yes you do. And if you don't know how, call us and we'll help you. You have to get your work in. We cannot make up a hundred for you and just put it in the grade book. That is illegal. You have to show us work. There's, there's no way around it. No way. If we don't see your work, you get a zero in the grade book. That's, that's all there is to it. And we, there's nothing we can do about that, guys. We have to see your work. We cannot take your word for it. We have to see something that's evidence. And then this is for the very first week. This is a real simple one. 
you click here to go to Epic Books, it's going to take you to a different website and you use this code. This is for the very first week. Most everybody has done this. I think I have like one or two people that have not done this. Um, and it's real easy. This was like our practice assignment. So it shouldn't take you any time at all. Very, very simple. Okay, so if you that's if you've missed any reading. Those are your three assignments. Your three assignments, guys, and they're going to take you 20 to 30 minutes. That's including the reading. And um, y'all can do that, especially the people we have behind. Y'all are y'all are good readers. You are all good readers. Um, you've got to get it done, guys, because we're looking at our grade book and man, Miss Maldonado is not going to be happy that some people aren't getting their work in and she's going to start making phone calls. Um, if we go back and count how many of these videos we've made for y'all, how many Zoom meetings we've provided, um, I'm thinking we're probably added up all together, all the teachers. We've probably made 30 videos to show you. We've probably scheduled 40 something Zoom meetings. If you don't understand, talk to us. We have people who don't understand and they are talking to us and they're getting the work done. We have people that don't understand that are too scared to say, I don't understand, and they're not getting the work done. And that's not okay. There's no excuse. You can call us, you can text us, get your work done. Um, here's the same thing for Miss uh, Lee for math. Here, right here is your extra math logins if you don't remember. Look, every day you will need to do extra math. She gives you her email address. Um, but that's your extra math. Guys, you've got to do the assignments. So here she has the information for this week. Step one, watch this video to hear this week's lesson breakdown. Click here for a breakdown of the strategies that we use in class. So look, she gives you the lesson here. It is a lesson by Miss Lee. It is her showing you. Good morning, guys. So I'm going to take the time. She's taken the time to, to make you a video. And then right here, she took a nut, the time to make another video to show you the strategies y'all use in class. Guys, you can use these videos and look back at them over and over and over right, again. Good afternoon, guys. Um, so just as promised, I'm going to show you what y'all are doing in class. Your answer. Look. Two times one is two. And then you she's showing two. you examples. Three times two is six. And there's nothing that's keeping you from watching this video three, four, five, six times just to make sure you understand it. She's showing you just like she would in class on the whiteboard. Okay. So then she wants you to do the uh, extra math. Um, there's another video over multiplication and division. And then look, each homeroom, click here for Lee's homeroom. Click there. And then there's this little um, fun little gim gimmick she has you doing. Um, she said it was real fun. I was going to check it out, guys. And then you, you, you do that. That's more practice, more fun. Click here. And look, you answer the questions. You put your name. You work out the, 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 the questions on a piece of paper. You have to, have to, have to show her even if it's just scribble scratch, you have to show her that you work these out on your own because she doesn't know if you're in there just putting, um, putting answers in because you used a calculator. We have to have proof. You need to write it down on a piece of paper, work them out, write them down on a piece of paper, submit this, and then just snap a picture, send it to her on Dojo, send it to her on this email address or this one, Text it to me, text it to Miss Lee, text it to Miss Teeter. Any way to give us the proof that you worked the problem out on your own. And so the same thing too with, um, look, she even has a sign up sheet for students who need extra support. So right here, she'll get on Zoom and work with you. All you have to do is sign up. And then if you need to go back, if we sent you a message that says you're missing last week's math assignment. You just scroll down on this math page. There's last week's math assignment. Step one, step two, and then it goes all the way to the first math assignment we had y'all do on e-learning. So there's three math assignments at this point. Um, so 
if we told you that you need to do the week before last math assignment, the week of April 6th through 10th, then you need to scroll all the way to the bottom of Miss Lee's page. If we told you last week, you need to go to this assignment that says April 13th through 17th, and if it's for this week, you still have time, but guys, get it done. Wednesday writing. All of the lessons are set up the same. The first assignment lesson you're going to see is for April 22nd. That is yesterday. This was your lesson for yesterday. Um, today we're writing a rough draft. So guys, you've already started this if you've been doing your work. Um, the rough draft is what you should be working on now. She tells you exactly what you should do. She gives you examples of how to start it. She gives you some sentence starters and um, how to turn in your handwritten rough draft. Take a picture, then send it to her through Dojo, email, or text. You can send it to me or anything. If you do not, only if you do not have a piece of paper or something to write on, click here to complete your rough draft letter using code, using this code to log into her Google Classroom and complete the assignment there. Um, that's to type out the assignment, guys, but this is writing. We're, um, we're on the computer too much. We need you to get away from the computer, grab a piece of paper and write. It's so important to use that skill of writing. Pen, pen to paper, pencil to paper. You've got to got to do the, that you need to keep that skill up. That's important for writing. Um, you are getting plenty of practice on the computer. You need to step away and write. If you didn't do last week's, which you have to do the weeks before to even get to the rough draft. So last week, if you haven't done that, if you haven't done last week's assignment, you need to do that before you do this week's. Because Look, think about a current situation we are in on a piece of paper. Please brainstorm the types of feelings you're having because of your situation. Then think about some ideas of what you can do to help feel better through this situation. Think about the Today My Heart Feels activity we did in class. So if it were me, guys, I would say, you know, I feel, I feel a little sad, frustrated. What did I do? Guys, I've been outside working in my garden. I've been... Um, getting the new coop ready for the baby chicks. I've been hanging out with my kids when I'm not working and that's helping me feel better. There's lots of things. Have you been playing video games? Have you been drawing pictures? What have you been doing? How are you feeling? This is, this is easy. Um, everyone has feelings. So let's write about it. It, it makes you feel better too, to, to write about it. So this is where you're doing your brainstorming and stuff. Just like class, none, none, of the, none of this has changed. And then if you didn't do the very first writing assignment, it's linked, um, it's linked with, oh, those are the next steps right there, um, just to do a little fun video about homophones and log into IXL. So um, then you also need to do an IXL assignment, that was for last week. But then this very, very last first assignment that we did, um, April 8th, so that was the first week we did e-learning. This one's linked with Miss Hutton's assignment, which is another assignment that you'll need to do. But all you have to do is come down here to the bottom of Miss Teeter's e-learning page and click here to access Miss Hutton's page. You're going to watch a video that she has made, and then you're going to talk about self-care. Um, that's just another thing, one of those things you're doing to make yourself feel better while we're all stuck at home um, and this is all going on. We all have to find ways to take care of ourselves to make us feel better. So it's um, an assignment linked with Miss Hutton's assignment. So it's pretty easy, guys. Okay, so then today is Thursday Science. So this week in science, we're talking about landforms. Um, landforms, you know, hills, mountains, just the, the different forms of the way the, the land is created, the way it's carved out. Um, so, so remember when we talked about amazing landforms, remember we talked about uh, the Guadalupe Mountains because we were kind of focusing on Texas landforms. Um, but so you can uh, click here 
for a good little review video about landforms. They're fun little videos. We try to make this fun. Look, short. One, two, three, go. It's a little over a minute. So you click there and watch that video. And then you click here to tell me what kind of landform would you like to visit and why. Guys, I would love to go to the mountains right now. I wanted to go to the mountains for spring break and go skiing. So that's what I would say. I'd say, I would really like to go to the mountains right now so I could ski. My ski trip got canceled during spring break because of everything that's going on. So, or maybe you'd love to go to an island and sit on the beach, guys. This is easy. Look at all these beautiful landforms. Where would you like to go? The desert would also be really cool too. I love reptiles. I would think it'd be so cool to go to the desert and see the, the snakes and the lizards. So just write, what kind of landform would you like to go to and why? Um, and see, same thing. It's a Google document. Click on it. What is your name? What landform would you like to visit and why? Guys, this is simple, simple. This week, you don't even need your weekly reader for your, for your um, or not weekly reader, you never mind this isn't social studies um but yeah simple this is easy 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 science today and the reason i make them so easy is because we have so many people behind on work so we have to do it like this so y'all can take these days to get caught up um and then you can click here to look at some of the most amazing lands landforms and rock formations um just a really cool little article for extra learning. And then here's science, April 13th through 17th. So if we said you did not turn in your science last week, here it is. You scroll down on the science page. Energy and motion. So you're going to look at this, review it. And then um, it's kind of like a scavenger hunt around your house. So after you have reviewed the anchor chart, watch the video here. So it's just another video about energy it'll take you to youtube everything is linked it's easy to access and then get a piece of paper find something around your house that uses mechanical energy so so go, go find me something that uses mechanical energy you have a bike draw me a picture of your bike um a fan something something around your house that uses electric electrical energy your refrigerator um something that uses light energy your lamp Something that uses thermal energy, your oven. Guys, this is easy. Draw a picture of it. Take take a picture or draw pictures. Take a picture, text it to me. Text it to Miss Teeter, text to Miss Lee, or send it through Dojo. Ideally, we would like you to send it to um, through through Dojo or the email or to that teacher. But we don't care who you send it to at this point. We just need you to get the work in. So if it's for your science teacher, send it to your science teacher. If it's work for your math teacher, send it to your math teacher. That's why we offered all of ours. Um, we try to make sure that we get it to them, but we miss some because there's a lot of work coming in, guys. So if you send me your math, I'm trying to send it to Miss Lee, but I might forget. That's just the way it is because this is, we've been very busy getting work in. We have about, like I said, like three to five people that aren't getting their work in. So that's why we're making this video. Um, so if we said you did not do the first science assignment, then um, go down to the very bottom of the page. You're gonna look at this, review it. You can uh, uh, click here, go to IXL, and do these two lessons. So um, that's pretty simple. IXL, uh, we have science on there now, and it's just the same login as math and reading and writing. And then there's social studies for Friday. We are going over the three branches of government. So here's a little, um, a little, uh, my cat was trying to scratch the furniture. Um, a little picture showing the three branches of government. But then there's also this video. And the video is short. And it tells you the three branches of government and their functions and then you click here to answer the questions and guys the first question is always your name and then it says what branch of the United States government is responsible for making laws the answer to those questions is in that video like it's just the same it, at the end it asks you these three questions and answers them 
if you can answer these, then I know you've watched the video, which you should have done. And it's very, very simple. If we told you you needed uh, to turn in last week's assignment, then it's still here. You have to scroll down. Social studies. This is the one where we're going to get on weekly readers. This week, you didn't have to get on weekly readers. Um, but last week, we did have weekly readers. So all you're going to do here is click here. I've sent everyone their social studies weekly reader login. If you don't have it, I can still give it to you. Um, grade four. And look, we even have it. Um, we have it. I think y'all can access all of them. But see, we've even got it in Spanish right here. So that's pretty handy. Um, so then there's the weekly reader. You all have your login for this. And so what I wanted y'all to do for this one is go to week 28. Can you hear my cat? He wants to go outside, but I'm busy. And then I want you to look at where it says extended reading post World War II patterns and settlement in Texas. And so you're gonna read this article. You can even have it read it to you. Guys, three minutes and 17 seconds long. Have this read to you, read it with a parent, read it yourself, and then, um, oh, let's go back here. You're going to click here and tell me your name and what are some of the reasons people moved to Texas that were mentioned in the article you read. So the article's gonna tell you, people moved for all sorts of reasons. They wanted to find better jobs or a warmer climate. Oh my goodness, then you're gonna go over here and put, they wanted to find better jobs or a warmer climate. Um, complete sentences, people moved to Texas to find better jobs. Some people also moved to Texas because they heard it was a warmer climate. Guys, there's other reasons in there, don't use my, don't use my exact examples put it in your own words give me a full sentence and then the last lesson um, down here the timeline at this point it says a timeline of texas history i had some amazing timelines turned in like really really awesome but uh at this point i don't care if it's a timeline just tell me like i, I woke up at 8 30 at 8 35 i brushed my teeth at nine o'clock I had breakfast, just give me a timeline, chronological, in order. That's all I'm asking. So there is that. And let me show you something else. If you are accessing this through Google Classroom, then it's not different work, guys. I've had some people thinking, okay, so I'm going into Google Classroom to get my assignments. And you're looking for different assignments, guys. Now this is just another way to access it. So look right here, if you click on reading, it's just telling you this week and then our focus and then you, you can click this link to go to this week's reading lesson. So you click it and it's just going to take you right here to the same page. It's not different work. It's just another way to access the same work because we want it to just make sure y'all have all these different ways to access it. Guys, some of y'all are doing just this. Some of y'all are just doing Lexia. Some of y'all are just doing the Imagine Math. This is not the assignment. This is the extra work for after when you got your work done. Um, we said that at the beginning of this. Um, some of y'all have missed it. Some of y'all have forgotten that. These are the assignments. These are the assignments that we are grading. This, this, and this. If you did not do, Last week, you're getting a zero. If you did not do this week, you're getting a zero. Same with math. If you did not do the first lesson, you're getting a zero in the grade book. We have to have them done. Just no other way around it. Um, we don't wanna be that way, but it's, it's just, it's out of our hands, guys. We have to get it done. And so anyhow, I know this was a very long video. Thank you, thank you, thank you for sticking with me and watching it. Um, guys, we don't, we, we all are too smart and we do not want to put zeros in a grade book for you. Um, progress reports are going out and we, like I said, we have about five students who have gotten nothing short of an A this year or Bs and we're putting zeros in for them. 
and that's going to go on their permanent record and you've got, got to let us help you. We're not going to be very happy putting zeros in for your permanent record when you're capable of so much more. So if you have any questions or need any help, please, please reach out to us guys. We miss y'all so much. We wish we were in class doing this. We know that it wouldn't be as difficult if we could sit down with you and show you, but we have to do it. We have to just push on and work together, guys. You guys have a great day. Bye.